Hi traders, welcome to the Statar version 2.5 uh, introduction. We've just discussed the uh, STD indicator. I'm just giving you an overview in the previous intro video. Um, what we're going to do now is run through the, the ARB engine itself. So we can see here on the current euro dollar chart we're looking at the uh, STD indicator. Um, we can see basically it's configured to be running on or to run on uh, dollar yen and dollar Swiss franc. So in order to load the arbitrage engine we simply drag and drop it from the expert advisors onto the current chart and we just OK the default settings. You can see here when a tick arrives that it self configures um, based upon the settings um, in the STD indicator, so it's automatically picked up. Uh, we're trading uh, the dollar yen and dollar Swiss franc pair. You can see the system consists of several different um, layouts or different data options, which, such as system time, uh, we can actually see. The system time is 2032, whereas my PC time is 1832. So my charts are effectively um, GMT plus 2, which is useful for setting system timings, which I'll, I'll cover later. The Statarb um, ARB engine also shows the spread um, in light blue. The spread will differ. Um, the value of the spread in the um, ARB engine will differ very slightly from the value in the STD indicator. And the reason it being is the spread is calculated on the current um, ask prices for um, both pairs, yeah, whereas the spread in the STD indicator is calculated uh, based on the last period close data. And we need to do that just um, for the purposes of drawing accurate indicated traces. We can also see uh, the high trigger um, is the next data item down in red. That is giving us the exact value uh, for where um, trade entries will be made. Um, so if the spread goes any higher than 4.4871 and all the rest of the numbers, um, the system will be looking to go take short uh, pair one long pair two trades. So in this case we'll be looking to go short dollar yen, long dollar Swiss franc. We can see the mean, um, next data item down, and then the low trigger, which is in this case minus two standard deviations uh, below the mean, giving you again the exact trigger level, so 4.4794, etc. Um, the system status, uh, it's saying it's active, and the system status is set uh, using the external uh, input parameters where you can tell the system exactly when you want it to trade and that's granular so it can be on spe specific days and the system timings go down to um, hours, minutes and seconds so you can start and stop exactly when you want. Um, the mode that represents what the actual system is currently trying to do so at the moment it's looking to it's saying auto entry search it's looking for an entry position uh, searching for an entry. The trade type, there are four trade types which uh, I'll discuss in another video but the, the uh, default trade type is stationary, cup, stationary recoupling. Um, we can also lock the trading behavior to the long-term trend so if we suspect that the underlying spread has become directional um, we may want to lock our stat up system to only trade in the direction of the long-term trend and that stops us from potentially getting caught uh, where stationary spreads decouple and become directional and you can end up getting yourself into a bit of trouble there. Um, there's an email alert facility which is currently enabled and it will send an alert every 60 minutes as it currently stands. The maximum risk on the system is set at 20% Again, that can be anything you like, and we can see the lot size is five lots per pair, and we can also see the reversion potential, which is telling us that based upon an hourly chart and based upon where the spread currently is in comparison to its moving average, 
that if it reverts from where it is now to the moving average that the potential profit if you had an ARB running would be $323 that will change all the time as um, the moving average fluctuates around and obviously the spread fluctuates around um, we have a profit targeting system which is currently set to automatic that means that um, the system will look to take the reversion or the indicated reversion potential profit um, if it's running in automatic mode if you run it in manual mode um, you can define a specific target um, it's probably much easier to just leave it running in automatic and then the revert or the profit targets are dynamically ca dynamically calculated based upon the current spread and moving average um, we can have an aggregation option as well which allows us to um, when it's enabled it will monitor the closed our profits from midnight uh, system time and if the closed our profits running on all trades um, so all charts on your MT4 system are greater um, uh, than the current open our positions plus the aggregated profit target the system will close so basically in in pure plain English uh, if you've set a target of two thousand dollars if you've uh, in this case we've got our open our profits are minus three thousand eight hundred and five dollars so if we had closed our profits of five thousand eight hundred and five dollars the system would close down completely close all our open arb trades and the system would then go into into a passive mode and would be disabled so that suits people who are looking to do high frequency trading uh, during an overnight session say an Asian session and they're looking to make a specific amount of money and they don't want to take any more, any more risk once that target's been achieved and the PL profit and loss of the current ARB is on this case it's zero uh, but this will just simply display the current profit and loss of the ARB running on the current chart if we go to um, the position I just talked about with um, I've got uh, an ARB running here on euro dollar sterling and we can see here that if we look at where our entry was, the entry is actually represented using a red dot. Um, and that's that gives us an option. Uh, we can turn that on or off. We can change the color of that in the external inputs. And you can see that the ARB was entered about three days ago. So let's just zoom in a little bit and have a look at this in a bit more detail. And we've seen that the actual spread has actually decoupled um, from our entry point, which is the red dot. Um, looks like it's recoupling now. The spread status is saying directional recoupling. Um, it's directional because it's outside our um, MA delta threshold channels, which we discussed in the STD indicated video. Um, to give us an idea of what our reversion potential is here, we we can look up here. It says reversion reversion potential four thousand seven hundred dollars or so. If we uh, if we're concerned about um, that we can obviously change the reversion to MA option to false and what that will do is it will mean that our reversion target becomes the opposite channel opposite trigger channel so if we can see here the reversion target has now changed to minus 1.78 sorry 0.178 minus 0.178 um, and that will coincide with our lower trigger point which is exactly that minus 0.178 so what that translates to in terms of a uh, reversion potential in a target wise is about eighteen thousand dollars so um, you know there's no guarantees it will get there but uh, clearly you know if we if we want to set a slightly more reasonable objective for a for a complete reversion to the opposite channel, let's change our STDs, our STD multiple to 0.5, which draws in the uh, the trigger bands around the around the moving average, and you can now see that this level here, the where the crosshairs are, would be our reversion target, um, giving us a potential profit of 11,000, just under 11,500 dollars on on this particular ARP. Um, we can see here if we refer back over time 
um, certainly in the last um, well the spread has actually broken the lower threshold on several occasions um, certainly since well, so this year we've seen we've seen that happen um, on the 30th of November sorry 29th of November last year same thing around um, the 8th of December through to around the 10th of December saw an, another fairly clean break on the 5th of January um, and again that was repeated on 14th of February um, so there's a pretty high likelihood that this uh, spread will breach that lower trigger channel particularly in view of fundamentals as well which is discussed a little bit in the uh, in the user guide for the product um, you know with the MPC potentially going to raise uh, UK interest rates in April um, there's a pretty high chance that uh, that will bolster sterling um, the euro on the other hand um, is uh, yeah, the outlook for that is a lot more uncertain um, so uh, yeah but I think it, from a fundamental perspective um, you could argue that uh, a short euro sterling position um, has some value you can obviously factor in some uh, some analysis there by looking at the euro sterling chart and look at it over a long time frame so we can see here this is a weekly euro sterling chart don't forget the ARB we're currently running i.e. short euro dollar long cable is effectively a short euro sterling trade so short euro long sterling and we can see here this is going back to 2001 this chart um, looking at it over let's just scroll that back a bit looking at it uh, from a technical perspective we've got a downtrend um, we've got a long-term uptrend which was broken so that's now invalid um, and we've got a channel from these two fractal lows here and this is a descending channel so it's reasonable to uh, to predict that uh, the euro sterling exchange rate is is on its way down um, so that gives me more confidence to hold um, this type of ARB um, so anyway that's a, a quick overview of the the arbitrage engine um, there's the other thing as well which is probably just worth mentioning quickly is we can see here as this ARB is currently running we've got a risk of stop out indication here which is a, effectively a gauge um, going from low to high and that that will be dependent on the amount of risk you want to take um, I've configured the risk at 20% of the account equity here um, so if that gauge gets uh, you know, towards the high uh, side then clearly you can see there's a higher risk of the ARP being stopped out um, so just a, a kind of feel-good factor really anyway I hope that uh, that makes sense um, if anyone's got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me I'll go through each of these uh, components in a little bit more detail thanks very much